before time added my MySpace Kinda out the way when winter hit, I'm finna migrate What's up guys, it's your boy Ty Skits here and today we are back with another Car X Drift Racing Online video. In today's Car X Drift Racing Online video, I'll be showing you guys the Nissan GTR 33 100 Adhesion V8 or 6.2 liter V8S Ultimate Drift Setup. If you guys enjoy this video, drop a like, subscribe and turn on post notifications man for pc players the livery and tune download will be in the description so feel free to download that also the livery tutorial will be uploaded either later on tonight or tomorrow i just want to let everyone know before we get into this video i'm going to be starting a car x tuning tips and tricks video so that'll be coming out after this video and basically for the first video of that series i'll be doing a how to make your car faster video so if you guys want to see that make sure you guys let me know down below in the comment section and let me know if you're excited for that but let's go ahead and get into the video man first things first find the godzilla r3 aka the nissan gtr 33 and grab the car once you have that done you want to get the ultimate mod on the car and then the swap you want to go for is the 6.2 liter v8 s if there's any other cars you guys would like to see me do feel free to comment them down below in the comment section um next thing you want to do is go ahead and grab a body kit the body kit i have is the d master kit i have the stock front headlights the d master front bumper the missile hood the stock side mirrors the custom performance roll cage the stock trunk the d master rear bumper the rnt spoiler the stock tail lights the rnt exhaust the r corp seats we have their r corp steering wheel in there the i ready handbrake and the mono shifter for the wheels i went with my favorite wheels in the game these are my favorite wheels just in case anybody didn't know so feel free to use those wheels or use a different pair of wheels if you guys would like to but once you have all that done head over to the dyno stand your suspension so for your front spring length it's going to be 13 rear is going to be 10. your front spring distance is going to be at 105 we're at 95. Your front damper fast bump is going to be at 6,000. Rear damper fast bump at 5,500. Front damper fast rebound at 6,500. Rear damper fast rebound at 6,000. Your front damper bump is going to be at 6,000. Your rear damper bump is going to be at 5,500. Then your front damper rebound is going to be at 6,500. And your rear damper rebound is going to be at 6,000. Front toe is going to be at negative 0.40. Rear toe is going to be at 0.30. Front camera negative 6.43. Rear camera is going to be at negative 0.16. Front anti roll bar at 20. Rear at 20 also. Caster at 6.0, Ackerman angle at 30%, steering axis offset at 12, kingpin angle inclination at 5 degrees, max steering angle at 65 degrees. For the wheels, your front and rear rim diameter are going to be 19, front rear tire with 285, front tire pressure is going to be at 105, rear is going to be at 85, front and rear wood adhesion at 100, front on track 3, rear base negative 3, front and rear tire profile is going to be at 35%. I made this car like a little bit lower than I make my other cars. If you guys like this look for my cars, let me know. I'll try to make my cars lower to the ground. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about this look of the car, man. I kind of slammed it down a little bit. It still has clearance though. It doesn't like clip through on the wheel. As you guys can see, there's still space between the wheel and the fender for the tire to turn. But let me know what y'all think about that. Um, For the next thing, the engine. Go ahead and turn everything all the way up to max. You don't have to adjust the torque or anything. This car does not bog. If you'd like to set your torque lower, feel free to do so. If you do set it lower, I'd set it at like 4,250 or something like that. That would be like a really good number, but I'm going to keep mine at max though. For the transmission, it's going to be sequential, differential type, viscose, limited slip differential. Diff locking ratio is going to be at 100. Final drive 3.40. Gear 1, 2.80. Gear 2, 1.29. Gear 3, 1.14, gear 4, 1.06, gear 5, 0.99, and gear 6 is going to be at 0.95. Last but not least, for the brakes, your brake torque is going to be 3,500, front brake by 70%, ABS no, launch control tandems no. Alright, so now that you guys have the full tune, you guys already know what we do. We're going to head down to an online lobby and uh, hit some tandies. So we got OSD short loop tandies. It looks like that room is full. I'm gonna try to get in there one more time. And okay, hold on, wait. I really wanna get in that lobby, come on. Okay, no, we can't get in there, so 
We have a red rock lobby right here. 14 out of 16. Hopefully it's not a bad lobby. We're gonna get in there. Okay, wait, wait. Let me try this one more time. Okay, we got in. We got into DS or we got into OSD short loop. So that's even better. We're gonna be on East Toge. Um, I'm gonna fly over to the short loop and then we're gonna hit some tandy. So here we go. Do do do. Let's fly over here really quick. Also gonna turn on some graphic spots. All right, let me go ahead and turn on the skybox graphic mod really quick. All right. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's hit some tandies. All right, we got Racketer in the lead. I think this guy's trying to overtake. I'm gonna let him go in front of me. A little bit of lag there, I think, or desync. We're good though. <laughs> the fuck? What was that? Whoa! I think somebody just flew off the side of the map. Or is he good? No. Okay, yeah. That's what the fuck? All right, right here, right here. Oh no! Let me see if I can jump in right here. All right, let me try to catch up to Racketeer and Awesome Crew really quick. Which, this R33, yeah, that's him. I think it's his car. I don't know. That guy and the other guy are, like, desyncing, like, super, super hard. There we go. Clean tandems. What the? Okay, now this lobby's got to be bugged. This lobby's bugged. Yeah, this lobby's like bugged out or something. <laughs> I need to make a new session. I need to make a new OSD lobby. This thing is like pretty bad right now. I'm not gonna lie. But all right, y'all, man, that's going to wrap up today's video. I just wanted to bring you guys <clears throat> my new Nissan GTR 33 100 adhesion ultimate drift setup. Like I said at the beginning, if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe, and turn on this post notification so you guys don't miss any videos or any live streams. And that being said, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.